Alright y'all, back at y'all with another episode Teaching my brother how to box Alright, so Introduce yourself again Miles Miles, and you already know my name Andre Sanders I'll tell you just in case it's just first time watching it Anyway, so uh, Today we're going to review what we did uh, Last time And then we're going to go over defense Alright, so get in your stance Alright so, Let me put up a little bit Alright, now give me a jab so remember, don't bring it all the way back. You want it out a little bit. Because just think about it. Say there's something in the middle, right? And we got a race to grab it. And my hand's right here, and your hand is all the way back there. Who's going to get there first? You, exactly. So that's why when you shoot that jab, bring it back. And now it also depends. Like, if you in a stance that's like this, all right, that's, that's a little different. But you want to keep If we in this stance, pop. You know, bring it right back. All right, so let's see it again, jab. Again, again, again. Alright, let me see Jack Cross. The Derek Pitt. Yeah, Jack Cross. Yeah. Alright, so we'll keep working on it. If you keep leaning over a little too much, I want you to just turn it. Again. So turn the body. Take this front shoulder, throw it back. Again. Again. Alright, alright. We'll keep working on it. We're going to do a little more. So we're going to work on defense a little bit. So I'm going to grab my gloves. Did I get them? No, you ain't ready for me. You are not ready. So I'm going to uh, just, we're just going to go over a little bit of defensive things. So first, let's see what you know. You know, hands up. Alright, so if I throw a punch at you, I want you to just react on like what you Alright? You ready? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> How would you block that? My hand. So you would. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So if I throw a jab to your body, you want to use your elbows. Alright? So hey, throw that jab to my body like I did. Throw it like my body. Like that. Yeah, so you yeah, see yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to use your elbows to block that. Alright? So. But we're just going to keep it up to the top. I'll just kind of see what you will uh, do. So I'm going to throw a jab to your face, all right? And I just want to see how you're going to block it, all right? So just block, don't even move, block. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, Try not to move it too much. Like throw a jab on my face. No, like get it on Get it, like try to get it up. Okay, okay, okay. So you see how I'm just real quick, pop, pop it right back, all right? So. So the jam, you're going to catch it like this and put it right back. So catch, you're going to open your hands. Go. Yeah, just like that. Stop. Stop. There we go. Stop. Yeah, so just like that. Now, um, you don't, never, you don't want to cut block with this hand, which I, I know you did, but just in case you did, you don't want to do this. You know why? Can you imagine why? Well, I, I probably want to hit you there because your elbow will be down on you to the top. And I can start throwing face. I can be like, pop, you're on top. If I see it, like if I'm going against somebody and I'm throwing jabs and I see them keep going like, Ooh. All right, anyway. So, no, no. I throw a jab at you. Yeah. All right, so I throw a jab at you, you just gonna catch it, right? But I see yeah, it, you're gonna catch it with that hand. Alright, so now you see, I see you anticipating. Alright, so, and that's the one thing when I'm boxing people, that's what I look for. I go like, I just kind of see what they're doing, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so now I want to work on slicks. Alright, so what's going to happen? Like, if I throw a jab at your head, now you did it sort of how you uh, move your head, but I don't want you to put <clears throat> this pressure on your back, alright? I don't want you to just move your head just like that, alright? So hands up. Alright, so I'm going to throw a jab. And when I throw a jab like this, yeah, you're gonna go that way. Exactly. You know why? Because they get hit with you. Exactly. Yeah. Now, now there is another thing about that though. Like I, only say I can't keep going here because if I keep going here, then it's like I can still get lined up without punch. But this is still the best way to go because you can slip and come back with your own uh, with a counter punch. So if I throw a jab, you slip, and then you want to come back with a cross. A cross, a straight punch. Ain't that you ready? Go slip. Hold on. Okay. Slip. All right. We'll pick that hand up. All right. So slip. All right. Slip. There we go. Slip. Come on. Stand up. Stand 
Alright, now we're gonna do a drill where it's um I'm gonna throw the jab, you're gonna either catch it or you're gonna slip it. Alright, so it's up to you what you wanna do. You just can't get hit. If I hit you, you got five push ups. Alright, sound good? Now you're gonna go like crazy hard. Alright, ready? <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Alright, ready? Give me some hit and move around. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, job, job. So, one thing you want to, especially if your opponent is like active for the shots, you want to constantly be a hard target to hit. Think about like, um, you play basketball, right? You shot a ball at a hoop. It's not necessarily easy, but, I mean, it should be pretty easy to hit a basket that's not moving. But imagine you play basketball that that basket is moving left and right and back and forth. It's going to be a lot harder to make that shot, right? Same thing if I'm throwing jazz or I'm throwing any type of punch. If you're constantly moving, it's not going to be as easy. So just be a little easy. Jab, slipping the jab, but we're gonna keep building up on that, alright? Until next time.